Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Bad Boy. In this video, I have you guys the race guide. Um, I'll be teaching you guys what the best races are in early game, mid game, and late game. If you guys end up enjoying it, like and subscribe to the channel. My current goal is 15,000 subscribers. Also, join my Discord. It will be linked to say the description down below. That is when you guys can see where I post, um, you know, when giveaways and a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's right into it. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about is early game. So, I'm going to break this into two different categories. The first category is how good it is by itself and how many people are actually using it because it, you guys might not notice but how many people using it is actually a very important factor so we're going to talk about that first so for example a Ronka, um is like it has no players it, well at least compared to the other two a Ronka basically has almost like no players right now so it basically loses like almost every single raid um so yeah um i would still say to go a Ronka, because it is really good in endgame. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, but I would say right now, because there's a lot of players on a wrong card, it makes it very hard to actually play a wrong card well. Um, and then the other thing about a wrong card is the fact that it's not good early game either. Uh, once when you get your shrift, which are not shrift, once when you get your partial res, which by the way, takes the longest out of all of them. Uh, well, I mean, shrift depends. If you're a good player, shrift like is very easy. Um, if, obviously, if you're a bad player, then you're not getting it. Um, but yeah, I would say, like, on a baseline for a good player, um, partial rest is probably the hardest one to get because it doesn't require in game skill. It takes, you know, like, little kid obby skill. Um, so yeah, partial rest, I mean, it's definitely by far harder to get than uh, story first. Um, and there's just basically no players on it. So early and mid game, it's just not good. Even when you ditch a partial res, you still only have two moves, which is less than everything else. Um, and they, it's literally RNG. Like, you get two random moves pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's why, in my opinion, um, it's not the greatest. I would definitely say a wrong card is probably the weakest for early game, um, and mid game. Now, the next one for early and mid game that I want to talk about is going to be Story Bird. Story Bird is actually pretty good. The sheet ties are really good. It has the highest amount of base HP. Um, it has a decent amount of players. Um, and yeah, it has a lot going for it. I won't lie. The only thing that is bad about it is how long that it takes to level up. It is by far the longest one to actually level up because it has the vision missions as well. Um, so yeah, the division missions take you way longer to level up, but that is basically the only negative of doing it um, early and mid game. And then we have Quincy, which um, speaks for itself. It's brain dead. Um, most of the player base is Quincy. They have broken weapons, um, shrift. Like as long as you're a semi-competent player, it's very easy to get. Um, yeah, it just has everything going for it. Majority of the player base is Quincy, and that's because it's broken as well. Can't really blame them. Um, they have blood vein, damage reduction. You know, it's it's just simply good. Um, but now getting into endgame. Now this is where it changes. This is where Soul Reaper falls. Uh, Soul Reaper is by far the worst one in endgame. Now this is by endgame. I mean like true visor, true like everything. Like you're matched out. Um, now before I would still say Soul Reaper was second best. But if you guys have read the update logs. They pretty much gutted visor. Um, I wouldn't say gutted. But it is definitely way worse. So I would say Soul Reaper is now the worst one. Moving Aron Kart up to the second best one. Um, because they get hero or what, however the hell you say it. It's basically just damage reduction. I don't know how you say it. Um, but they do get a lot of damage reduction. They get, um, you know, obviously full rest, Aduna, and things like that. Um, their genuine move sets are strong. Like, really, really good. Um, I don't think there's a really unusable one. Their weapons are really good. Um, so yeah, really good damage reduction. Uh, Vasto is really good with, like, dodge variant and other things like that. So yeah, it's just very, very strong. Um, and then obviously, once then, the best one, Quincy. There's zero reason, like, I, I'm not surprised the majority of the player base is Quincy. It's just genuinely the best things of the game. Um, if you want to be lame, you can go let's and literally just snipe people from far range and they will struggle to push you. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just brain dead. You have broken weapons like the new gun, um, your volt standing and all that is pretty broken as well. It's just genuinely good. Now, the only other thing that I do want to mention is the obtainments for all of these. Um, once again, Story for the hardest one to obtain Bonkai. You literally have to fight an NPC that is harder than 99% of players. Um, and you have to beat it inside your Shikai while they're in Bonkai. Then we have um, Soul Reaper, or not Soul Reaper, but then we have Ronkar, which I believe is the second hardest, or the second hardest one. Uh, because it's literally all, it's RNG based. You either don't get it, or you get it, and then you have to wait an hour or kill one person to reset the cooldown. Um, so it's literally RNG based. And then we have Quincy. In my opinion, it's the easiest one. My brother already did it. I'll put a screenshot 
on the screen. But yeah, he already has a bolt inside the new game. Um, because it's literally just a parry test. As long once again, as long as you're a competent pick um parrier, you're fine. So pretty much the way to put it, in my opinion, is if you are a half decent player that can get kills and parry, go Quincy. It is brain dead. Majority of the player base is on it. Um, you can definitely find a group very easily for it. Um, bolt standing would be easy for you because obviously you are good at parrying. Getting shrift would be easy for you because obviously you're a competent player. Like I'm saying, if you are good at games like this or you have already played type soul, Quincy is for you. Um, and then if you just want, you know, to have fun, I guess, um, I would say Story Bear. It's like kind of brain dead. Like you can, uh, anyone can hop on and play Story Bear. Um, the only like boring part about it is division missions, but I feel like some of you guys would actually join like fun. To, like I know there is fun divisions if you're not trying to speed run it. So I'd say Soul Reaper is kind of just fun because um, it is very good early game. And but, like there is still a very large amount of players for it. Um, and then yeah, then we have a Roncar. Now Roncar is basically only if you like a Roncar, I guess. Um, will they get buffed in the future? More than likely. Um, they're not the worst. But they're not the best. I would say they are the worst early game, but they're definitely not the worst, um, you know, after. They actually are pretty good. I believe they rain comp uh, for Clan Wars. So, like, you can be good with any of these, by the way. I'm not saying to choose one just because of this video. Um, but I'm also saying that you will definitely struggle um, against other things, you know, during these certain times. For example, like, if you're True Visor and you're going against um, True Let's, more than likely, like, I mean, if you are the same skilled players, more than likely you're losing. Um, but the same can be said if you're using a Shikai against someone with a partial res, most of the time you will win. So it really just depends on who you want to know. Um, I feel like they're all, they all have their own strengths pretty much. Um, some are dead early game, some are dead late game, some are not dead late game. So it really just depends. Or you know Quincy and be brain dead, which is good no matter what time of the day it is. Um, there's a lot of people. It's pretty easy to get everything. Um, the only way you don't go Quincy is if you just have a skill issue, pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Once again, you guys can always feel free to leave your own thoughts. Um, as I said, I'm not the most experienced type soul player. I'm just giving my own opinions. Um, if you guys have different opinions, that's perfectly fine. Uh, feel free to leave your own thoughts and why you guys actually think, you know, something is better than another or something is worse than another. Uh, I will admit that I do think by far early game Moroncar is the worst though. Um, and I do think late game Soul Reaper is still the worst, but once again, we haven't had the new slots come back, so we don't know exactly what is the best or worst late game because nobody is completely late game yet. So we're kind of just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, once again, feel free to leave your own thoughts. Um, I'll have a best build video out soon, probably like two or three hours after this video comes out, because uh, I know a lot of people are asking for that as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for me. If you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. Best build video will be out later. And probably also a day one starter guide. That one might come out before this. So, you know, if you guys need a, you know, starter guide for the whole game, I'll have that out as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys inside the next one. Peace.